I set a week aside so I could do something different, roleplay as a doctor slash paramedic on the official servers, to see if I could do it, or if I could even survive it. I hold it up. What's going on? Uh, I got nothing. But this would turn out to be a more difficult task than I first anticipated. Need some food? Need some water? Uh, I wouldn't say no. You need any medicine? You look a bit cold. Uh, actually, yeah, I've got the flu. Because I'd be putting my life in jeopardy more than once. Would you believe me if I told you I got mauled by a bear? Oh god, that's creepy. <laughs> and that was not even the worst part of the journey. I went through some of the most insane moments I have ever experienced in DayZ so far. And surviving all this, as hard as it was, made it worth it. And it took more than one try before I was successful in what I wanted to do. But I don't want to get too far ahead of myself and I want to save us both some time where all I did was loot. So let's go back a little bit to a time and place to where I was doing something that could potentially get me killed. I need you to remain calm. Stay there buddy. Everything's good. I held this man up and gave him a simple set of instructions to follow. Drop your equipment on the ground for a minute, just so I can expect it. He had a can of food, some soft drink, an empty water bottle and a pepper. Yeah, you're good, you can throw it on. I gave him a chunk of cooked fat from a cow and a full water bottle to go on the ground there. There's a can here too. No worries, man. Best of luck. And once he was all stocked up, we went our separate ways. As if you'd play Daisy without a microphone. <laughs> I mean, that's fair enough. Might not even have a headset in sort of thing. That's crazy. I'd never play this game without a headset. I checked my supplies and had a quick feed in a random staircase. Well, that's one person helped out. That will get them a long way too. I moved on to the next village. Any more medical supplies? Because I want lots. Enough so I can give it away. In a time of need. Ladies and gentlemen, if you end up enjoying my story, don't forget to drop a like on the video, because the difference it makes is astronomical. So thank you very much. Anyone else? I'm good. I checked the local medical centre, but it had been recently raided. <laughs> and that's when I ran into a problem. The neighbours. God damn. I got a little hectic, a little fast. In the barracks, I finally found a blue beret. That's the last piece of my blue set. Definitely not the safest thing to be wearing, but... I repaired it, I put it on, and I was feeling sharp. But holy crap, am I blue. Look at me. I look like a doctor. By far the most commonly used colours in emergency services. Blue and red. I've got some spare medicine now I can give away. So standing out, it was a part of the plan. Do we have open doors? Yes, we do. Someone's been through here. And it wouldn't be long on that coastline, and I'd stumble into my next lost and hungry survivor. Down on there, buddy. Hold up, hold up. Take it easy. Don't pull out your weapon or nothing silly like that. How's it going, mate? I'm good, I'm good. I don't have any ammo for it, I'm starving to death. No, you're right, I've got you covered. Hang on, give you a second. Shit. This man was hungry. I could physically hear his stomach. Watch out behind you, there's a zombie in the field. So I'll talk to you back. Roger, roger. There you go, man. I dropped him some basic supplies on the ground, and it'll keep him going for a decent amount of time. Fucking lifesaver. No worries, man, no worries. Yeah, scrounging around the fucking, um, the trees to see if there was any apples or anything. Oh, yeah, I've been there, trust me. You know what, you need medicine or anything? You need medicine? Nah, nah, I'm all good, man. I'll make my way. Nice, nice. Alright, man, uh, what weapon you got there? What ammo you need? Uh, I got 12 gauge slugs and I just got the BK one no ammo for Oh yeah, I got nothing for that. Alright man, best of luck then. Alright, have a good one. You too mate. It felt good helping people at rock bottom, I'm not gonna lie. And he was he was hungry too, so he needed it. I gave away the wrong water bottle. That's okay. Hang on, can I fix this one? Nah, probably not, but I'll find another. We're doing good things. We're doing good things on this this character, this this life. Oh, oh. Here comes the weather. Love it. I stumbled across a tent that was set up for a car. Somebody was using it as a small base. Ooh. Someone's tent. Hello. 
There's probably nothing in it, it's probably just set up. There it is. Anything in it? Holy crap! A crossbow? Repair kits like no tomorrow? It was mainly basic stuff, but still a gold mine nevertheless. I mean, it's not the best loot in the world, but for where it randomly is. Right, I'm out of there. Oh, that was a good little find. Instead of walking a few hundred metres back around the coastline. Yep, I'm definitely going to get the flu. And by the time I got to the other side, I was drenched. Oh, this rain is serious though. Serious business. Bunch of dead zombies around. I think I need to get to a higher spot. There was somebody in a close proximity, and they were carrying a deadly weapon. Footsteps? There's somebody in that cop station. Where from? I was cautious around this gamer. He was armed, and so I kept my eyes on him from afar. What's their plan? There they are. Oh, they're letting loose. He must have been chewing through a lot of ammunition because the amount of rounds he let off seemed almost endless. A lot of zombies. They're bandaging up. I could save their life, possibly. I could hear him applying a bandage. He must have taken a hit or two. And inside the building, I found him in crouch with a sawn off shotgun in his hand. I'm here to help you. Relax. I'm here to help you. You good, man? You good? He was another gamer without a microphone. A mute. It took a few moments, but we built trust. Go upstairs. Drop the weapon. He held his weapon close to the chest, pointed down, but he never dropped it. I don't blame him. Alright, heal up, man. Heal up. But he did not appear to be bleeding, so he must have got the bandages on before I got there. You good, man? I then proceeded upstairs to check on his well-being. Good? Yep. Alright, cool. I'm gonna go clear the zombies out. You need food? Water? I was curious about how big the horde had grown outside. Yeah, no, nah, you're good. Alright, cool. No worries. I'll go clear some zombies out and part ways. He dropped a water ball, and this was sign language. He had everything he needed, and he was good. That or the water bottle could have even been a trap. And when I go to check its contents or pick it up, I could have been shot in the back of the head. So, best to play it safe. Help him out a bit. But I'd like to think it was a friendly offering. And as I left, I slowly cleared out some of the walking dead, taking the aggro with me. He's good. I can hear him bandaging it, putting a bandage on when he was up there. We did not want to drop that weapon though, I don't blame him either. <laughs> I thought he was like, I heard him bandaging, so I was like, oh, he could be in trouble. But he might, he was inside and he had doors closed, so he was pro probably pretty safe. After patching up my uniform, I was off to my next objective, water. Anybody here? Anybody? Let it be known. Ooh, ooh, spare water bottle. I always empty water bottles that I find. You never know when it's been tampered with. And after that I filled it with crystal clean water from the well outside. That's one. And two. Nice. I got a spare bottle to give away again. So this is handy. But what I need is ammunition. Badly. So I'm going to do a bit of a military run, hit the military barracks, and because yeah, that's the main thing, we might end up doing some hunting too. There's the train there. As I made my way down the coastline, I looted the train, and that's when... Hold up right there, buddy. I came across a construction worker. Hey, pull out no Don't weapon. What's going on? I got nothing. Alright, good, good. Just going for a stroll, buddy. Just going for a stroll. Need some food, need some water. Oh, I 
I wouldn't say no. I dropped him a water bottle, a can of soft drink, and some military rationed food. Hey, I'm in. You're a gentleman. Not often you get a nice, uh, delicious treat. Yeah, no, no worries. Nice no gear worries. on there, buddy. Yeah. I could see another freshborn down the end of the highway. No worries, man. No worries. There's another dude just down there. Uh, anything I can help help you with at all? I don't have much. I've got a gas canister, but no stove, so you can have it if you need it. Nah, that's all right. That, that's fine. I'm good, man. You need any medicine? I look a bit cold. Uh, actually, yeah, I've got the flu. Uh, here we go. These ones are damaged, but they'll still work. Cheers, mate. Good here. No worries, man. Have a good one. Yeah, have a good Friday night. Cheers, buddy. Who's your mate? I chose not to hang around with these survivors for too long. You never know which one might betray you. You're all good, man. You're all good. Need some food? You need some water? This one was like a wild animal that starburst at the moment I got too close. Yo, yo, yo. So I left the goblin alone, but it started to follow me. You're all good, mate. Perhaps it had never seen kindness before. I tried to talk to it, but it was too late. It'd gone wild. You're all good, man. You need some food and water? You need some basic supplies or what? Like an animal affected with rabies, she had to be put down. A oh, damn lady. Here's your apple. She really stood no chance either. I guess when you're fresh born, you got nothing to lose. You got nothing to lose. I made my way inland so I could stock up on supplies and bring them back to the coastline. I'm not the most accurate player. That's why I just go for body shots. Does the trick. But Daisy can take forever just to find the basics. I've given away a few water bottles, like two or three water bottles. I hiked long into the night and into the next day. Hopefully I don't get killed here. Cause this is a hot spot. I ransacked the military facility, looking for anything. Ammo, repair kits, weapons. Anything I could use at my disposal. I've got a little bit of ammo. Need a lot more though. Let's get moving. And when it was time to leave, I left. Even if I wasn't 100% sure where I was heading. Ah, who cares, let's just wander and explore for now. I mean, that's what Daisy's really about in the end. About exploring, enjoying, just surviving. I like all the survival elements to the game. I like how much there is. I'm surprised I didn't bump into anyone there. Very surprised. The, I'm pretty sure there's a dam if I keep following this train track. I'm gonna bump into a dam. And when I get to that dam, that'll lead me to a hunter's lodge. I wonder if it's still a thing because back in the day, you used to take more, your shoes would take more damage if you walked on the road than you do on the grass. I wonder if that's still a thing. It must be. There's the Hunter's Lodge. Cool. I am where I want to be. I passed through the Hunter's Lodge, but there was nothing there I could really use. The only sounds that deep inland was Mother Nature. Yeah, right, let's get moving. I'm a little bit lost, but I'm also a little bit kind of know where I am. But yeah. I'm hoping to get to one of the airfields. I think this is going to take me to the one that's like extremely inland, not at the center, the other one. I just heard a bear. Oh god, I can hear it. A bear and Daisy can easily outrun a gamer, clocking in at around 40 kilometers an hour. Where is it? I heard it up there in the mountains somewhere. This means, when you aggro the beast, running away is futile. Where is the bad boy? I could hear her thunderous growl. I was getting closer. And will it see me before I see it? That's the real question. I can hear him. There he is, there he is. I just saw him. I 
think. There she is. But she was making her way down the side of the mountain, out of my line of sight. Find that pine tree. And for a few minutes there, I could not find her. She's moved on a bit, has she? There she is. You get the high ground. And when I found her, I thought there was a perfect amount of distance between us. There she is, look at her. Here we go, we got the spot. I lined up the shot, straight down range, no wind. And the bullet just bounced off a thick coat. Oh god, that's creepy. She heard the sound and was on her way. I'm dead. I was unconscious and bleeding to death. I don't know how long I was there for. I'm alive. A thing came at me so fast. Let me up. If I had to guess, the mother was off collecting her cubs. Under the impression that I was dead, she would most likely soon return. Oh my god. Did I just survive a bear attack? Holy crap. I quickly got to work on my wounds, fixing them up best I could. We got some damaged stuff. The real question is... Do I... Do I go back for it? Because it's hurt. These should help me with some pain. I took some codeine pills to help with the pain. But that bear, it was still out there. Damn you bear. You ruined my friggin' beret. He's up there somewhere. I, don't, I just don't know if this is worth it at this point. I've hit it though, it'd be hurt. Oh, it's up there man, but I just don't have the spot now. Like, I, I've got nothing. I climbed up onto a massive boulder. H hang on, I'm on this rock. This is a spot maybe. Where are you girl? I'm gonna try to get onto that rock. If I can get up here, it might not be able to get to me. But then I spotted her, and it was a shot that I just felt I had to take. Oh god, she's coming. I got her. Oh, she took some hits, man. I did it. The beast was down. She was dead, and now I could butcher the body, but next I would have to make a fire, cook up the steaks, and prepare them for the long journey still ahead. If I survive, that is, never know. Everything can change in a matter of seconds. Yeah, it's actually called bear steak, that's awesome. Got some long sticks, some short sticks. <laughs> I'd be in so much trouble if I came across wolves. I think if you kill the alpha, the rest of the pack backs off. Let's eat for a minute. No one coming around. With my vision slowly starting to return, I made my way down to the river to fill up my bottle. Still gotta learn how to do fishing properly. Purifying some water and patching up some gear. I'm pretty sure I know where I am and man do I have a walk ahead of me still. I followed that highway for kilometers. Oh, I'm starting to see at least, like almost all my colour, yellow and blood, but slowly coming back, which is good. I've got, I've got a massive hike here. There was a wolf pack sneaking up on me, as silent as an owl, and when they got close, I got so jump scared, I fat fingered multiple shots. But this was not a full pack, it was only a pair, I don't know where the rest were. Holy crap, they came out of nowhere. And as silent as. <laughs> okay. That gave me a jump scare. I didn't hear no howls or nothing. And it's only two of them. Two wolves. Man, this game's been giving me, like, getting my heart racing again. It's been a long time since I've had that, eh? Because, like, the Isle used to, especially Legacy, way back in the day, but I've just played so much of it. It just doesn't do that for me now. But this game, oh, that was scary, is what I'm trying to say. There was a downed helicopter just on the other side of this ghost town. Nobody else out here? I 
please don't be. I doubt it. The pilots and all of its crew deceased. Hmm. There was some really good military gear there, but nothing I wanted. No worries, no worries. I'm pretty sure I know where this this next airfield is. It's like right up here through the jungle. Bit of a hike. But well, I'm heading in now. All this just so I can be all stocked up, just so I can make it back to the coastline, and then help people out. It was during this exact moment when I was playing the game that my channel had ticked over 100,000 subscribers. So thanks guys, love you for it. It means the world to me. Now I know you guys are probably expecting an aisle video next, but I'm actually thinking about doing two daisies in a row now, just been having a lot of fun with it. I do want to make a playlist, and I'll be back on the aisle soon. I've done a lot of aisle lately, need a bit of a break from it. I'm sure you can understand. Thank you. Love you all, especially my members. Love you all. I made it to another rare base. Practically as far away from civilization can take you. Oh my god, man, I was lost quite a bit then, and I was getting a little bit worried about animals. I was hauling around half a set of NBC gear. Can I, can I, can I handle it? <laughs> right, I'm in it. But I, oh no, I just took a bleed. But little did I know at the time, I was still missing the hood, gloves, shoes. But this is how I learned things. Could be a problem. The hard way. <laughs> oh, shoot. It was dark, wet, and very cold. Why have I got the flu all of a sudden? <laughs> Alright, a couple of pills. Should be right, it's the worst time I have to sneeze as though out here. I spent the night scavenging through the base. And when I got around to this massive cluster of tents, things were quiet. Nice. Too quiet. Not even the sound of... zombies. But there was nothing that could prepare me oh. for what came next. Bloody landmine. Once again, I was unconscious. And then all of a sudden, I started to wake up. I just fainted. I need to get this bleed off before I faint again. I'm so broken. Nah, that's not happening. Holy crap. I had a broken leg and my gear it was all busted up. This leg is bad. Real bad. That's the only thing I can do is wait. What do I do in this predicament? Every time I tried to move, it was agony and I would pass out. But the worst was yet to come. A contamination zone was moving in on me. Can I crawl? Right, I'm crawling. I had to leopard crawl away from that sticky green gas. It will kill me. I can't believe where I am right now. A bloody landmine. That, that's, I've got to get out of this place. I can no longer be here. Just crawling away from that landmine, man and that green um, contaminated area. That might only be morning mist. No, it's not, because a missile hit the ground. All sorts of things were rushing through my mind in this moment. Who planted the landmine? And where were the zombies? Did they recently clear them out? Helmet, how is it? Were they still around? It's the one thing that survived. That's the worst bit. I'm glad I picked it up while I was in here. At the time, I thought I needed duct tape to make a splint, but I don't. I only needed to combine three rags with two wooden sticks, or a roll of bandages with two wooden sticks. I can't, I got no duct tape. God damn it. If only I knew. No one would believe this, eh, unless it was recorded. This would be one of those journeys that'd just be lost to time, but not me, man. This is gonna make the greatest tale ever. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm not out yet. Not even close. I just gotta get away from the main part of the base for now. That way no players will see me. Especially the one that dropped the actual landmine there, planted it. I knew what they were doing. Look at me. 
Look what you've done to me. You've destroyed my entire uniform, my backpack. I am crawling because my leg is unavailable to be walked on. My boots are destroyed so I'm going to be bleeding when I walk soon. You have broken me. But not broken me. You know what I mean. Eat, eat, eat. Let's see how long I can go before I faint. Not far. I could not even take a few steps and crouch without blacking out. How's my fake carrier worn? I knew I wasn't going to get far. So how am I going to do this? How am I going to survive this? I have enough food and water to survive it. No matter what I'm doing, I'm crawling up into the woods so no player can find me. I've got no idea how long this bone's going to take to heal without me like putting a proper splint or something on it. I don't even know how to heal a bone in this game. I've never done it before. Uh, I don't know how long I'm going to have to wait for this bone. We're crawling. We're getting out of here. No matter what it takes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't even know where I'm crawling to. Am I am I done? You know what I mean? This could be the end of it all. Oh, I'm having those those thoughts. Keep me up, soldier. Stay strong. I will get out of this. The plan was simple, stay hydrated, and keep my spirits high. Just stay hydrated. Although, I don't have a lot of, any more water really, but I do have a purifier so I just need to... I'm so glad I got out of there because look, that green smoke is still moving, and it's where I would have been. The extremes a player will go to stay alive in a survival game can be insane. And finally, my leg had healed. That took so long, but also, I thought it was going to take much longer. But I'm happy it didn't. Alright, then do I risk it and go back to the base? I've still got supplies. That, that landmine, man, that was so evil. I went back into the airbase and ransacked a couple more buildings. You know how lucky I was earlier, too, to have no zombies in that area? That means someone had recently cleared them out just before they planted that landmine. I stood on it and survived. Only because there was like no zombies. If there were zombies they would have all came to it. I would have been screwed. There's definitely going to be something in this town. I don't think I've ever been here before. In the daytime at least. On my way back to the coastline. Alright let's fill this up. I crossed through the northwest airfield. So Luke does spawn up there but I'm not going to climb right up there. It is all... Oh. Before my blue hiker's backpack got damaged, I didn't need or want one of these tactical backpacks. But now that it's ruined, I think I'm going to have to. I really didn't want to get rid of my medic backpack though. But it's, it's time. Right now I've got more than enough ammo. It's definitely going to take me a while to get back, but that's alright. It gives me a chance to Loot some houses, get some extra supplies. So I can, the more I've got, the more I can give away. I did it. I made it safely back to the coastline with the bear steaks. Woohoo! We're cooking. I just had to restock up on some basic medical supplies now. Oh, that was a waste of ammo. And I was ready to look for fresh spawns to help. That was a waste of ammo. There's a base on the road there. There was a player constructed base in the middle of the highway. A clan perhaps. And there's people there. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to approach these people. I'm gonna put my gun completely away. Maybe. How many is there? There was a man, beating another human to death with his bare hands. What exactly am I dealing with here? There is a big base. Some shots were fired. Someone's got a rifle. We'll take the shooter out. They built it in the middle of this road. Is this a clan? That's huge. I can't believe it. Now 
I wonder where. The sound of gunfire was echoing through the entire town. Oh damn. Oh, here's a pretty good spot. I sat there patiently waiting in that cement column. I'm gonna take this pill. I've gotta do something about this flu. position lose the aggro for a sec I probably should have tried to talk to these people but because they had heavy weapons a base set up and outnumbered me I just could not take the risk I slowly got closer to the base when I see a second person this player could have been anywhere and I was waiting for the shot <coughs> These guys could be friendly, but I don't think so, because, like, now I'm looking at them from here, I'm like, that one didn't seem all that geared. <coughs> I circled around the base and cleared it from a few different angles. I'm going to check these bushes for here, I think. But they were nowhere in sight. Just the one dude. You alive now, my friend? I even knocked on the front door, but no one was home. Um, five, 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 five takes the same rounds as my main weapon. Now I don't know where that second person went. I kept my Mosin. I didn't need the Pioneer. And so that it could never be used against me, I threw it in the ocean. Well, I just saw a naked anyway. There he is. I'm going to go talk to him. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to remain calm, mate. Don't pull out no weapon or it'll be the end of you. Ah. Oh, I see you're killing yourself as it is. Fair enough. Oh, best of luck with that. I'm gonna have his misery. I couldn't watch him kill himself using razor wire. So after I put him out, I ended up moving even further down the coastline looking for anyone that may have needed some help. And I found a man searching the abandoned train. I see what's going on. I watched him from a safe distance go for each and every carriage. Are the Agra on him or on me? I think they're on him. They must be. Definitely not on me. Not yet anyway. I'm just gonna say hello to this man anyway. There he is. I got a little closer. I just wanted to make sure he had no weapons. Yo, yo. Put that knife away, mate. Get away from that zombie, though. Careful. Kill that zombie if you need to. The suppressor on my handgun was busted, and letting off around here would be more trouble than I need. Putting him in the crossfire was not worth it. Not when he could easily deal with the problem himself. You got no weapons on you? You got no microphone? Yeah, righto. Hang on, I'll give you some food if you need it. Finally, after all of this time, the troubles I went through. There you go. Here's some food here, man. The hunt, the cooking, the travelling. Some bear steak. I could finally give out some of the best food available. Just here on the ground. You wouldn't believe what I went through to get that. Anyway, you're a, you're a bit of a mute, so I'll leave you be. Have a good day, man. But for now, this is where the story must end. I hope that you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Hope you enjoy the steak, my friend. This is your boy, our time, signing out.